and welcome to Yachting Monthly's spinning or locked propeller test. The aim of this test is to decide the old age-old question as to whether you should leave your prop locked when you're sailing or spinning. And we've now got a rig that we've devised that will give us that information. We've got an outboard motor with no uh, power head in it. We've got a three-bladed propeller which is fairly typical of what um, a standard propeller will be. It's a 12-inch prop but it's, it's scale-wise it's fine. And we are going to tow, we're going to drive the boat along through the river and we're going to measure the drag of this propeller either fixed or spinning as it lifts the outboard leg up and we will be measuring it with a um, spring balance and uh, the, the propeller can either spin or we can we will fix it so that it's locked to give the two uh, pieces of information we need. Now for the measurement will be done here we've got a simple spring balance and as the drag drives the uh, propeller and the bottom of the skeg of the outboard backwards this rig will tilt and you will get a reading on the spring balance. More drag, more reading on the spring balance and that will be the answer. We will test it at a variety of speeds uh, to give the a range to show what happens and we will also answer the other question which is not, you don't necessarily want to know how much drag it is, you want to know how much your boat is slowed down with the propeller spinning or fixed. So we will be using an electric motor to drive this skiff so we can exactly measure the power it's using and we can set it to a fixed power, measure the speed with the propeller spinning and then lock the propeller, see how much the boat slows down when it's locked. Okay, now what we're doing on the boat here is we're measuring the drag of the various propeller options which are on the bottom of the leg of the electron outboard. The weight of the propeller is counterbalanced by the conveniently sized brick on the end of the arm. That means it's in neutral uh, balance, therefore any drag going astern as we go through the water is measured by the spring balance pulling down, as you can see, uh, somewhere between 0 and 10 kilos of, of tension on that spring balance. The faster we go, the more the propeller drags backwards, the farther around the balance goes. Now, at the same time we're measuring, because we're using an electric outboard for our propulsion, we're able to measure exactly the power we're using to drive the boat at the different speeds. And we do that because we've got a bank of batteries and we can measure the current that is being used by the batteries at each speed setting going to the motor, which gives us the power in watts that we're using to drive the boat along. This enables us to compare the uh, drag of the hull alone against the drag of the hull and the propeller either spinning or fixed. Okay right now we're out on the river and we're going to measure the uh, drag of the propeller, in this case the fixed propeller, at different boat speeds as we go through the water. At the moment we're travelling at approximately three, just coming up to three knots and the Tension on the spring balance is just over four kilos and the current in the motor which we measure with this little device motor is using uh, eight amps of current at 36 volts which is approximately 240 watts of power.